Within seconds of the opening of Breath of the Wild, you are given a view of the whole world, as Link peers from the Great Plateau on to Hyrule Castle. It is in this moment that you are able to visually take in your goal, get in there and kill the bad guy. That is pretty much it. Your objective is instantly visualized, and so too is the world. The entire plot of the game is laid out for you, setting the scene for how Breath of the Wild will set up story beats throughout. Yet even with this instant outline, the world is still shrouded in a thick layer of mystery and of ambiance, and it is this incredible ambiance that separates Breath of the Wild from the bland melding pot of other open world games. I believe that there are three pieces that form the key to this immersive ambiance at the heart of Breath of the Wild. The first piece of that key comes from visual intrigue. Because of its open nature, Breath of the Wild can't force its world on you, so it does the opposite. It tells you nothing. It gives you nothing. The mystery of its world comes from the happenstance of you encountering its secrets. The spotting of a dragon, the reading of a journal, or the thralls of a maze. This happenstance creates a keen eye, one that looks into every area as they become shrouded in mystery. The tools at hand push forward this depth, none more than the glider, which opens up tons of venues for both speedy exploration and visual ubiquity, spotting points of interest from high up and then quickly swooping down in order to investigate. The visual intrigue of spaces and the consistent reward for looking deeper into these areas means that the world doubles in size due to the possible depth of each space. This visual intrigue is at the core of how Breath of the Wild maintains its mysterious ambiance. The next piece of the key comes from the ambiance created by the game's sound. One of the unsung heroes in the design of Breath of the Wild is its use of music, but so too its absence of it. Silence is an incredibly effective tool. It allows the game world to be itself, to express its authentic nature. This silence coincides with wonderful audio design as grass rustles, weapons clank, and water churns. This absence of music makes way for the world to craft its own music, one that envelops you into each space as the dense soundscape brims with life and authenticity. But there is still music in Breath of the Wild, and it is excellent, as the up-tempo sporadic horse riding theme often ends as you arrive to the calming flutes of the stables. From the silly, bouncy sounds found in Hateno Village to the Rito Village theme literally just making me cry for no reason, it's so good. The balance created from the game's excellent music and unique use of silence make the world rich with ambiance. The final piece of the key is you. The player's effect on the world makes it endlessly mysterious, as every play space is tackled in a thousand different ways. Breath of the Wild's malleability take it from an open world game to an open play space, as every inch of it is meant to be conquered in the manner you see fit best. The game's mechanics give you a number of ways to solve combat encounters and puzzles, meaning that the world doesn't feel straightforward. It feels complex. It feels physical. It feels dense, as no two players will tackle its challenges in the same way. It is this adaptability that puts a two times multiplayer on all of the mystery that surrounds the world as lines are blurred and mechanics are intermingled. These three pieces can join to unlock something special. Breath of the Wild is a special game. There is nothing like it. No world as mysterious or atmospheric, no soundscape as dense and full, no gameplay as rich. Gliding over it, peering through it, continually adds more to be seen and taken in. Breath of the Wild envelops everything beautiful about gaming, transporting the player to its world, letting them roam. Roam through its fields, sit by its fires, stand on its mountains, take it all in. As the wind pushes past the grass, where will it take you?